Um, it's so good to see you today. As you can see, we're going to work a little bit with vowel teams, also known as double vowels. But first, we have to sing our Hello There song. Ready, Ha? He says, yeah, of course. Here we go. Hello there. How are you? It's so good to see you. We'll sing and be happy. We're all here together again. And in Javi's case, it's not so good to see you. It's so good to smell you. He has a very strong sense of smell. Here we go with vowel teams and move the camera. Let's do it. All right, friends, so we've practiced using this poster several times now. We've been calling them vowel teams, but you can also call them double vowels because there's two of them. Double means two. And um, we're gonna do the same thing we've done with this poster as we've done in the past. Letters, keyword, sound. Um, please follow along. I'm gonna say the letters, keyword, sound first, and then it will be your turn. Here we go, starting up at the top left corner with A, I, bait, A. And A, Y, play, A. Both of these vowel teams, or double vowels, say A. That's the sound. Next row, my turn. E, E, deep, E. E, A, eat, E. And the last one is E, Y, key, E. What sound do all of these vowel teams or double vowels make? E, almost like E, Pete, E. But these are double vowels, they're right next to each other. Next row, my turn. O, I, coin, oi. O, Y, boy, oi. Both of these vowel teams or double vowels make what sound? Oi. Next row, my turn. O, A, boat, o. O, E, toe, o. O, W, snow, o. We're gonna press pause on this last square. So far, all of these vowel teams or double vowels make what sound? O. O, 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 but this O, W vowel team can also say, my turn, O, W, plow, ow. That one's a little tricky because it can say do two different sounds. Next row, my turn. O, U, trout, ow. Kind of like O, W, plow, ow, they both say, ow. There's another sound for this vowel team though, it's O, U, soup, oo. Next, my turn. O, O, school, oo. O, O, book, uh. Two sounds, next one. U, E, blue, oo. U, E, rescue, you. So we have oo in blue and you in rescue. Very small difference. Oo, you, but they're still spelled U, E, both of them. And the last one in this row, E, W, choo, oo. Nice, next row, it's our last row. Let's turn this down a little bit more. And my turn, A, U, August, ah. A, W, saw, ah. What sound do both of these double vowels, or this one's not a double vowel, this one's a vowel team. This is a double vowel, but what sound do these letters make? Ah, kind of like the vowel on its own, o, oh, like o oh, octopus ah. They all say ah. Let's move on to our learning target. All right, friends, we have our learning target ready. I'm gonna get my finger ready too, and we're going to read together. Let's do it. I can identify and decode double vowels in sentences. I can identify and decode double vowels in sentences. Let's start with the words in boxes. They tell us what we're going to do today. The first thing we're going to do is identify. My turn. Identify. Find. Identify means the same thing as find. F-I-N-D. 
think, find, or identify, and decode. And if you remember from yesterday's lesson, decode means... Read. I'll draw a book for me. Okay. We are going to identify or find and decode or read important vocabulary words coming up. Double vowels in sentences. Double vowels happen, um, sometimes they're vowel teams, sometimes they're not. So not all vowel teams are double vowels, but I think all double vowels are vowel teams. Let me show you what I'm talking about. A-I, like A-I bait A, is a double vowel because both A and I are vowels. A-I is also a vowel team. Another one is A-Y, also says A, and O-I says oi. All of these are made up of two vowels, so that makes them a double vowel. We're gonna be looking for, to find and identify, and then read words that have double vowels in sentences. Let's get right to it. All right, friends, here are the sentences in which we are going to identify or find and decode or read those double vowels. Let's start with sentence number one. Take two fat fingers, underline the word in sentence number one that has a double vowel. Did you find it? I'm gonna grab Javi and we're gonna underline it together. Give me half. He's still feeling kind of sick. He wants to be with his mama. That's okay. Yeah, I can teach you and bet my baby. Huh, my fur baby. Okay. The word that has the double vowel is this one right here. Okay, and then now that we've underlined that word, I want you to circle the double vowel. Did you get the double vowel? I did, it was right here. What letters make up this double vowel? A, I. I'm gonna mark this word with a D. It's gonna be kind of small just because there's not a whole lot of room. That's a D for double vowel. It's also a vowel team, but when they're both vowels, we call it a double vowel too. And the AI double vowel slash vowel team says A I bait A. Yeah. Okay, I know this word is D A Z, tricky S, and this Y says E, E. D A Z E. D A Z E. Daisy. Daisy. Now that we know this word with a double vowel, that's one of our trickier or harder words, we're ready to read the whole sentence. Mike picked a daisy for Beth. Daisy is the word with the double vowel. A I says A. Let's move on to sentence number two. Take two fat fingers again, underline the word that has the double vowel. Did you find it? Did you underline this word? Some of you out there are saying no, that's not the word you underlined. Why does this word not have a double vowel? because instead of having a double vowel, it has an R-controlled vowel right here. You are. The U is a vowel, but is R a vowel? No, R is a consonant. I can mark this word with an R. Let me try to write that nice and dark so you can see it. With an R to show that it is an R-controlled vowel. You are says er, like you are, burn, er. You are though is not a double vowel. What word has the double vowel? I believe it's a one, I know maybe it's a 2G, 2G power word. Boy. Where is the double vowel in boy? Two fat fingers, circle it. O-Y. If you circled O-Y, you found the double vowel. Y can sometimes be a vowel, and we know O is definitely a vowel, and the O-Y double vowel says, boy, O-Y, boy, oy. In fact, this word is boy. Let's mark this word with a D to show it has a double vowel. We're ready to read the sentence now. 
The boy is hurt. 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 Those R control vowels can be tricky. The boy is hurt. Nice. I hope he feels better. Moving on to sentence number three. Take two fat fingers, underline the word or words, plural, that has a double vowel. All right. If you underlined this word, you found one out of two words with a double vowel. This is our first one. Take two fat fingers, circle the double vowel in this word. What is the double vowel in this word? AI. And just like up here in Daisy, AI says A. Now, if we want to decode or read this word, my computer wants to decode too. If you want to decode or read this word, you got to start with ooh, a prefix. This prefix is re, it means again, sometimes. I'm not sure it means that here. But we're not going to say re, we're going to say re. Okay, re, m, mm, a, n, mm. er, e, me, n, mm. re, Remain, remain. This word, remain, has a double vowel in it. Nice job. What is the other word, because I said there were two, in sentence three that has a double vowel? This one. Okay, and this actually happens to be a compound word. That's where two small words come together to make a new one. Okay, let's start with that double vowel, though. Two fat fingers circle the double vowel. Did you do that? Did you circle A-Y? Me too. Nice. Now, I know A-Y says A like uh, A-Y play A. Right. And actually, like I said, this is a compound word. The first part is A. Play. So we already know this word. The first part at least, but since it's a compound word, we need to read the rest of it. Let's blend the second part of this word. P -n -n. Pen. Okay. Play pen. Play pen. Play pen. Play pen. All right. Oh, I need to mark it with a D too because it's got that double vowel. Oops. Oof, I am all over the place. Whew. At least hobby's safe and nice and secure on my lap. All right, um, just like our learning target said, we're focusing on double vowels, and this word has a double vowel, that's why it's marked with a D. We found this word with a double vowel as well, remain in playpen. Now we need to read the whole sentence. She will remain in her playpen. She will remain in her playpen. Nice reading sentence number three. It had two words with double vowels. Let's move on to sentence number four. Underline the word or words that have a double vowel in sentence four. Did you find them? This one has two. The first one's right here. Take two fat fingers, circle that double vowel. O-U is the double vowel, and I know O-U says sometimes ow, like O-U trout ow. Okay, um, now let me mark with a D for double vowel, and then we can decode or read this word. Ooh, did I graph? Sh, like S-H, ship, sh, sh, ow, t, suffix ed, sh, out, ed. Shouted. 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 The word shouted has a double vowel. Were you able to find another word though that has a double vowel? I sure was. This short word right here. What is the double vowel in the last word of sentence four? 
Oh, wow. Whoop. Can you guys see that? There we go. All right. Now, this has OY just the same way this word has OY. This word's boy, like OY, boy, oy, but this word starts with J. So instead of boy, it is joy. Joy has a double vowel as well, D. Let's read sentence number four. I shouted for joy. I shouted for joy. Maybe I was so excited that I shouted. Ah, I shouted for joy. And then moving on to our last sentence, sentence number five. I'm going to try not to hit Javi's head. Huh? You going to keep your head out of the way? You almost need a hobby helmet. A hobby helmet, yeah. Sentence five, underline with two fat fingers, a word with a double vowel. Ooh, or words. All right, touch your chin if you underlined this word. Touch your chin if you underlined this word. Give yourself a party hat if you underlined this word. Oh my goodness. There is not one, not two, but three words with double vowels in sentence number five. Let's start with the first one. The double vowel is O-O. Now, I know from our Val teams poster that O-O says sometimes O-O book uh. And actually, I have a feeling this word is book. Let's check. B -uh book. Now, if I were to say the other sound for this double vowel, oo, it might sound a little wackadoo, but let's check. B -ook. Book. We don't say book, we say book. Here, the o o is saying the uh sound, kind of that French one, uh. The double vowel is uh for book. Jumping to the next double vowel word. The double vowel again is O O. And here O O can either say U uh, like in book or U like in school. Let's try the U, uh, the French one first. T U. Uh. T U uh, T. Now that might be a word in France when you're speaking French but I don't think we have an English word that goes t. Let's try the other vowel sound for the double O, double vowel. Okay. T, U, TU, TU. Coming back to this very last word with the double vowel. This word, the double vowel again is O, O. Three O, O double vowels in a row. Cool. All right. Now, this OO double vowel could say uh like in book or oo like in two. Let's try the French one uh first. K uh o. K uh o. Go. Is that a word? Not in English. Let's try it with the oo like in two. K oo. Cool. In fact, I think I just said that word because the double O, double vowel, is pretty, pretty cool. Cool is a word with a double vowel. Now, we're ready to read our very last sentence. That book is too cool. Thank you for practicing double vowels with me today. I hope you guys read, 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 and I'll see you tomorrow. Wagner. I know you probably already know we're going into second grade math, but you probably already know too of all the materials that you need something to write on, something to write with, 
and maybe a stuffy to talk to. So I'll give you a couple of seconds to go grab those if you didn't already have them, but I'm assuming you probably, you already have them. So let's get started. All right, let's go ahead and look at our learning target for today. Go ahead and read it with me. I will use a place value chart to add four two digit numbers. All right, so something I know and something I wonder. I want you to go ahead and turn to your stuffy or somebody next to you and tell them something that you, you know, you can describe, you can give an example, and something that you might be wondering. Okay, so something you know for sure is we know what adding is, right? Something that you might know, some of you, and some of you may be wondering because you can't remember, is a place value chart. A place value chart looks something like this. Um, we looked at that before. And then something that you know or maybe you're wondering again is that four two-digit numbers. And yesterday we worked on adding three two-digit numbers. Today is four two-digit numbers, so it's something like 16 plus 41 plus 32. I'm running out of room, so let me start over so I have room. 16 plus 41 plus 56 plus 20. So we're adding four two-digit numbers. All right? We did it yesterday. We can do it again today. All right, just know that our strategy is using a place value chart. With that being said, go ahead and grab your piece of paper. And we are going to go ahead and get to our warm up. Our warm up today is I'm going to give you a couple of numbers. And you are going to go ahead and tell me how many tens and ones are in each number. All right. So we, so far we have 47, 86, 24, and 39. Go ahead and tell me how many tens and ones are in each number. Go. Give me a couple more seconds because of time. All right, so looking at 47, how many tens do we have in 47? Go ahead and say it aloud. Four, it's even in the tens place value, so we have four tens, one, two, three, four, and seven ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many tens do we have in 86? Eight, you can see it right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and how many ones? Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, how many tens do we have in the number, in 24? Two, right? One, two, and how many ones? Four. You should be pros at these now, huh? How many tens and ones do we have in 39? How many tens? Three. How many ones? Nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Beautiful, friends. All right, that's just warming up. We're just gonna see, so we can see our tens and ones because we're gonna be using those today. All right. So like I said earlier, the strategy that we're gonna be using to solve is our place value map. And we're not really focusing on hundreds today. We're actually gonna focus more on tens and ones. So I want you to go ahead and create a tens and ones map just like mine. And so we can get ready to solve our problem, our equation. 
Wait a couple more seconds. Remember, you don't have to write tens and ones completely out. You can just write T and O. That tells us. All right, so we have an equation like this, 16 plus 41 plus 22 plus 39. Really big numbers, but we're going to use our tens and ones chart to do this, and I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. Remember, we're not using hundreds because, as you can see, we have no 100 or hundreds numbers. So we're not focusing on that. We're actually just going to have that as like a plus. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at each number and put how many tens and how many ones. So let's look at 16 and let's see how many ones or how many tens are in 16. One, right? We just practice this. How many ones are in 16? Six. All right. Looking at 41, how many tens are in 41? Four. How many ones are in 41? One. Looking at 22, how many tens are in 22? Two. And how many ones? Two. You can see, it even looks like our numbers. 39, how many tens? Three. And how many ones? Nine. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to add these up. And like I said, we always, always focus on our ones first because if we have 10 or more, we have to use that strategy of carrying a 10 over, right? We talked about this yesterday and we've been talking about it every other week. So we're going to go ahead and focus on the ones first. When I see a numbers like this, I always try to find partners of 10 because that helps me to add. So if you look on here, do you see a partner of 10? Right, you should see one and nine is gonna make 10. So right off the bat, I know that that makes 10. So I have 10 and now I can just add these other two numbers. So let's just add 10 and six because it's a bigger number. So 10 plus six is going to equal, go ahead and say it, 16. And then if you don't know, you can go 10, and count up six of so 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And now we got to add the two. So we're at 16. We got to go up two, 16, 17, 18. So we have the number 18. When we're looking at 18, do we have a 10 and 18? We do. How many tens do we have in 18? One. So that means we have to carry that 10 over, but we can leave the one place there, right? Because 18. We're going to leave the ones there and we're carrying the 110 over there. All right, so now we're looking here. Right off the bat, do you see anything to make a 10? Probably not, and that's okay. So what we can do is I have one and one, and that's going to make two. A doubles fax, two plus two is going to equal four. Oh, look, another doubles fax. Four and four is going to equal eight, and then eight plus three. What's eight plus three? Eight, nine, ten, eleven. And that is giving us into a hundred. So now we have one hundred and eighteen. See how that works? Remember, the most important thing on here is if you have 10 or more ones, what are you going to do? You got to look at that number, see the ones place, see the tens, and carry those tens right on over. All right, we have another problem. Let's go ahead and look at it. Give you a couple of seconds to create another board if you need to for tens and ones. All right, if you're still creating, it's totally fine. Remember, you don't have to write the numbers fully out, just write T or O. Let's go ahead and look at our problem. We have 45 plus 62 plus 68 plus 55. All right, again, 45 plus 62 plus 68 plus 55. I want you to go ahead and tell your stuffy, what are we gonna do first?
Right. You're right. If you said we're going to take each number, we're going to figure out how many tens and how many ones, and we're putting them right here. So you go ahead and do that first, and then I will join in a little bit. I want you to get started on that, though. Okay, I'm going to join in with you. So I look at 45. How many tens do I have in 45? I have four. And how many ones? Five. 62. How many tens do I have? I have six. How many ones? Two. 68. I have six tens, eight ones. And 55. I have five tens and five ones. All right. You should have something that looks just like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you go ahead. Well, first, before we jump ahead, what's going to be our next step? I want you to go ahead and tell your stuffy. What is our next step? Right, so our next step is gonna be adding our ones first. So I want you to go ahead and add your ones. Remember Miss Wagner's little trick as I try to find partners of 10 because adding 10 is the easiest. So go ahead and add your ones first. So right off the bat, I saw two partners of 10. I saw two and eight, that makes 10, and five and five makes 10, which is awesome. That means I have two tens. What does two tens equal? 20. So I have, I look at 20, I have how many ones? Zero, so I keep them here. But remember, sorry, let me take a step back. We're on the one side right now. And this added up to 20. So that means I have 10 or more ones. What do I need to do? I got to carry my 10 over, right? Well, if I look at 20, I have zero ones, but two tens. So I'm carrying those that two right on over. And I'm putting the zero down there for my 20, right? Okay, so now I'm right here and I'm doing the same thing. I got to add them all up. I want you to go ahead and add them first. Remember my little trick is I try to find the tens. Go ahead and go. Okay, so if I look here, I can see that four, four and six, those are partners of 10, so that makes 10. I have 10 right here. I don't wanna write on there, don't wanna confuse. So four and six make 10, so now I'm just gonna add, I'm always gonna go to the bigger number. So I'm gonna start at six, and I have 10 going up six. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm at 16, now I need to add five, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And then I'm going up to the two. So 21, 22, 23. All together I'm getting 23. Can always go back and add them again just to make sure. So I have 10, 10 plus six is 16, 16 
plus 5, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, plus 2, 22, 23. So I have 23, that means I'm putting 1 in the hundreds. And right there, so I got 230. All right, friends, nice job today. I want you to go ahead and continue practicing this skill. We're running out of time, so I don't have time to do another one. But go ahead and have your pencil ready. And I am going to go and write down a problem. All right. Let's go ahead and go 55 plus 17 plus 30. Eight plus 75. All right, 55 plus 17 plus 38 plus 75. Would you say it one more time? Give you a little bit more time. 55 plus 17 plus 38 plus 75. All right, friends, practice, and I'll see you again tomorrow. You're going to need this strategy and the strategy from yesterday for tomorrow. Mrs. Mares y el día de hoy vamos a continuar con nuestra lección de matemáticas. Prepara dos materiales que vamos a ocupar el día de hoy. Prepara tu lápiz y tu papel y vamos a continuar con nuestra lección de sumar cuatro números de dos dígitos. Prepara tu lápiz y tu papel porque el día de hoy lo vamos a usar. Comencemos la lección. El día de hoy vamos a seguir con nuestro objetivo de seguir sumando 
hasta cuatro números de dos dígitos. Recordemos que el sumar lo hemos estado practicando todas estas semanas y quiere decir cuando ponemos dos cosas juntas. Por ejemplo, si tengo dos galletas y quiero dos galletas más, las voy a sumar y ahora voy a tener cuatro galletas. El sumar quiere decir poner dos cosas juntas para tener un nuevo total. Así que hoy vamos a poder sumar hasta cuatro números de dos dígitos. Y ayer hablamos un poquito de lo que significa dos dígitos. Por ejemplo, un número de dos dígitos puede ser el 23, tiene dos dígitos. Eso quiere decir que tiene unidades y decenas. El número 86 tiene unidades y decenas. Esos son dos dígitos. ¿Puedes pensar tú en un número de dos dígitos ahí en tu casa? Escríbelo en tu papel y ahí para que lo tengas como ejemplo, un número de dos dígitos. Por ejemplo... Puede ser 75. Tiene unidades que son 5 y 7 decenas. Así que el día de hoy vamos a sumar hasta 4 de estos números de dos dígitos usando la tabla de unidades y decenas. La vez pasada ocupamos unidades, decenas y centenas. Pero hoy como solo son dos dígitos nuestros números, solo tenemos unidades y decenas. Así que cuando comencemos nuestra lección, antes de comenzar, vamos a hacer un calentamiento para poder practicar nuestras unidades y nuestras decenas. Así que en tu papel, puedes agarrar un papel, el que tengas ahí a la mano. Yo tengo cuatro números en mi tarjetas. Voy a escoger un número y tú vas a dibujar cuántas decenas y cuántas unidades tiene ese número. Nuestro primer número es 39. Pensemos cuántas unidades y cuántas decenas tiene 39. Dibújalas en tu papel. ¿Cuántas unidades y cuántas decenas tiene 39? Para nuestras unidades, puedes dibujarlas con círculos, con cuadritos, como tú quieras. 39, ¿cuántas unidades y decenas? Yo tengo aquí mis unidades y las decenas que necesito para 39. Así que síguelas escribiendo en tu papel. Muy bien. Para 39, ¿cuántas unidades necesitamos? Necesitamos 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 unidades. ¿Y cuántas decenas? ¿Cuántos grupos de 10? 3. Necesitamos 3 decenas. 39 tiene 3 decenas y 9 unidades. ¿Cuántas decenas tiene? 3. ¿Cuántas unidades? 9. Muy bien. Intentemos otro número. ¿Listo? En tu papel escribe el siguiente número. 47. ¿Cuántas unidades y cuántas decenas tiene 47? Escríbelo en tu papel. Lo puedes dibujar. 47. ¿Cuántas unidades? ¿Y cuántas decenas? Dibújalas en tu papel. Mientras yo las preparo acá, dibújala en tu papel. Ya tengo mis decenas y mis unidades listas. Muy bien. 47. ¿Cuántas unidades tiene? Tiene 7 unidades. 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 unidades. ¿Y cuántas decenas tiene 47? 4 decenas, 4 grupos de 10 que me dan 47. 47. 4 decenas, 7 unidades. Intentemos otro número más. 
escríbelo en tu papel. 24, escríbelo en tu papel. ¿Cuántas unidades y cuántas decenas? Dibuja cuántas unidades y cuántas decenas. Voy a prepararlas para tenerlas listas. ¿Cuántas unidades? Yo tengo mis unidades y mis decenas listas. ¿Cuántas unidades y cuántas decenas? 24 tiene 4 unidades. 1, 2, 3, 4. ¿Y cuántas decenas? Tiene 2 decenas. 24. 24. 2 decenas y 4 unidades. Tenemos que sumar hasta 4 números de dos dígitos usando la tabla de unidades y decenas. Así que el día de hoy tengo una ecuación de cuatro números de dos dígitos y yo ya escribí y pude dibujar mi tabla de unidades y decenas. Ahí en tu casa la puedes dibujar. Es bien fácil de dibujar. Tienes que hacer una tabla, solo una tabla, y la divides en unidades y decenas. Quiere decir que vamos a hacer una línea a la mitad. Y luego tenemos que poner un espacio para cada número de dos dígitos. Tengo espacio para 1, 2, 3, 4. Tengo 1, 2, 3, 4. Así que en tu papel, mientras estoy leyendo la ecuación, dibújalo en tu papel para que puedas seguirlo conmigo. Tu número hoy, tu ecuación el día de hoy es 16 más 41 más 22 más 39. Lo voy a repetir una vez más. 16 más 41, vamos a sumar, más 22 más 39. Y en tu tabla puedes escribir unidades, que yo las voy a representar con rojo, y decenas que la voy a representar con azul para que sea más fácil seguir nuestros números. Tú lo puedes hacer con tu lápiz. Escribamos unidades y decenas. Recordemos que nuestras unidades es solo una unidad, un bloque pequeño, y nuestra decena quiere decir un grupo de 10. Decena quiere decir un grupo de 10 y nuestras unidades un bloque de 1. Muy bien, vamos a comenzar con nuestra ecuación. ¿Listos? Prepara tu lápiz y lo vamos a hacer juntos. Veamos nuestro primer número, 16. 16. En 16, primero tengo que identificar cuántas unidades y cuántas decenas tengo. 16 tiene cuántas unidades? 6 unidades. Así que voy a poner el número 6. Donde dice unidades, porque tengo seis bloques pequeños de unidades. ¿Cuántas decenas tiene 16? Tiene una decena. Y nos fijamos acá que tiene solo una decena. Así que voy a poner el número 1. Una decena y seis unidades hacen el número 16. Ahora veamos. 41. ¿Cuántas unidades tiene 41? ¿Tiene cuántas unidades? Una unidad. Vamos a poner el número 1. ¿Y cuántas decenas tiene 41? ¿Tiene cuántos grupos de 10 tiene? Tiene 4. Así que vamos a escribir el número 4. Ahora veamos el número 22. Inténtalo tú primero. ¿Cuántas unidades y cuántas decenas? Antes de hacerlo yo aquí, quiero que tú lo intentes en tu tabla y escribas cuántas unidades tiene 22 y cuántas decenas. 22 tiene 
ya lo escribiste, dos unidades y dos decenas. Muy bien. Ahora intenta 39. ¿Cuántas unidades tiene 39 y cuántas decenas tiene 39? 39. ¿Cuántas unidades y cuántas decenas? 39. Unidades, decenas. Escríbelo en tu tabla. Unidades, decenas. ¿Cuántas unidades tiene y cuántas decenas? 39 tiene 9 unidades y 3 decenas. Muy bien. Ahora que tenemos esta estrategia, me gusta mucho porque puedes ver cuántas unidades y decenas hay en cada número. Ahora que ya sabemos cuántas unidades y decenas, ahora podemos sumar. Porque si vemos nuestra ecuación, 16 más 41 más 22 más 39. Así que ahora las voy a sumar. Comencemos con nuestras unidades. Si tengo 6 más 1, ¿cuánto sería 6 más 1? 6 más 1 es igual a, si tengo 6 unidades y le agrego 1 más, ahora tengo 6, 7, es igual a 7. 6 más 1 es igual a 7. Ahora, ¿cuánto es 2 más 9? 2 más 9. Tengo 9 unidades. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Y le agrego 2 más. Tengo 9. 10, 11. Tengo 11. He terminado mi suma. Si solo sumé 6 más 1 y 2 más 9, ahora tengo que sumar qué otros dos números. 7 y 11. 7 más 11 es igual a, si tengo aquí 11 y le agrego 7 más, ¿cuánto voy a tener? Pero antes de eso tengo que pensar, yo sé que voy a ir más de un 10. Pero si lo sumo, tengo 7 más 11. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Ahora 18, ¿cuántas unidades tiene 18? Tiene 8 unidades. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. ¿Y cuántas decenas? Porque ahora tengo más de 10. Quiere decir que tengo que tener un grupo de 10. 18 tiene una decena y 8 unidades. Tengamos eso en mente porque lo vamos a ocupar cuando sumemos nuestras decenas. Lo voy a poner al lado por ahorita, pero lo voy a tener en mi mente. Ahora que ya sumé mis unidades, tengo 18 unidades en total. 6 más 1 es 7 2 más 9 es 11 y 11 más 7 es 18. Si pongo todo esto junto, me va a dar 18. Ahora tengo que sumar mis decenas, así que sumemos las juntas. Una decena más cuatro decenas, 1 más 4 es igual a, ¿cuánto es 1 más 4? 1 más 4 es igual a 5 decenas. Cinco decenas, que es lo mismo que 50. Dos más tres. Dos más tres es igual a cinco. Y si tengo cinco decenas, cinco decenas más cinco decenas, que es lo mismo que 50 más 50. ¿Cuál sería mi respuesta? Porque acuérdate que decenas son grupos de 10. Aquí dije que tengo un grupo de 10 más 4 grupos de 10 es igual a 5 grupos de 10, que es igual a 50. ¿Cuánto es 50 más 50? 
si yo sé que 5 más 5 es 10, ¿cuánto es 50 más 50? Ponlo en tu mente. Lo puedes gritar si quieres. Es 100. Muy bien. 50 más 50 es 100. Ahora a 100 le tengo que agregar mis 18 unidades. ¿Cuánto es 100 más 18? Si tengo 100, tengo 100. Voy a poner un grupo de 100 acá para que sea más fácil contarlo. Tengo 100, un grupo de 100. Más 18. Aquí tengo 18. ¿Cuánto es 100 más 18? Tengo 100, 110, porque tengo un grupo de 10. Acá tengo un 10. 110, 111. Cuenta conmigo. 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 110 y... 8. Muy bien. Mi respuesta es 118. 16 más 41 más 22 más 39 es igual a 118. Ahora que practicamos nuestra estrategia de usar nuestra tabla de unidades y decenas, recuerda primero... Suma tus unidades, luego tus decenas y luego pon las juntas para tener tu respuesta. El día de hoy en tu casa, ahí en tu papel, toma este tiempo para copiar esta ecuación. 45 más 62 más 68 más 55. Y vas a usar la tabla de unidades y decenas para poder resolver esta ecuación. Lo voy a repetir una vez más. 45, escríbelo en tu papel. 62 más 62 más 68 más 55. Inténtalo en tu casa. Practica la estrategia que hemos practicado juntos el día de hoy y el día de mañana vamos a practicar la estrategia del lunes y del día de hoy y vamos a hacer una nueva ecuación. Nos veremos mañana. Recuerda de practicar tu ecuación en tu casa. Hasta mañana.